I am not, 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 I am not a licensed mobility scooter technician. I do what I do to keep my machine working. If you're having problems with your machine, I suggest going to your dealer. If you add accessories, warranty goes bye-bye. So I just kind of want to enjoy what I can while I can. So I strongly suggest you don't do the things that I do. I make the mistakes so you don't have to. <laughs> a couple days ago yeah uh, noticed my mirror was off a little bit so it, it turns out that I actually do need lock washers on here actually on this one this is hurt because I actually moved it and it kind of moved out a bit so I don't know if it came loose on its own from bumps or if I just kind of banged into it or something walked by, I'm not sure. So I'm going to put lock washers on, so I went and got some lock washers today. And if you watched my video a while ago about the incident we had in our house, <laughs> I did an update on that. <clears throat> the fireman had to cut one of the hinges, or cut the hinges on the bathroom door to get access. I am to replace those hinges. I am not good at hanging doors. I've never been able to do it. So rather than, because it didn't have normal door hinges on it, so I can't just you know replace. Because we couldn't take the hinge pins out. That's why they had to be cut. So today I went and I grabbed a piece of the hinge and took it with me and kind of matched it up just this way. So I can put the same hinge on that was already on there. The holes, everything will line up. I'll just put the hinges back on where they were. So unfortunately, if we have an issue again, we're going to have the same problem. The hinges are going to have to be cut. So, but get that done today, and everything's good. <clears throat> so it's a nice day today. We got a threat of rain later um, because I was up so early yesterday. I did actually end up getting some sleep, finally, and I got up, I don't remember exactly, sometime between 5 and 5.30 is when I woke up, and kind of did my thing, and got back to sleep a little while later, and I woke up about 9.30 this morning, uh, it was actually, the scanner went off, that's what woke me up. It was a gas leak. Somebody doing construction cut to a pipe. Gas pipe. Oops. <clears throat> so, I went up since. It's still morning. Oh, it's afternoon now. It was still morning when I went out. <laughs> but, like I say, we have a threat of rain today, but not till later. So, I had lots of time to go out and do stuff. So, I did some shopping. And now I'm going to figure out what is wrong with my lights hopefully figure it out I'm going to attempt <laughs> so I have about three hours <clears throat> three and a half hours till uh, I need to be back inside so I got lots of time so I went and did my tour first got some enjoyment in enjoyed the nice day and yeah, sat and watched the, the guys doing the, the construction on the uh, I'm not talking good today in the uh, apartment building I don't know if they're going to be done before winter or not. <laughs> so I got watching them. They're pouring more cement in the walls. They're extending. I don't, I, I don't know how they do it. All I can say is I, I guess the age of the wheelbarrow is over. <laughs> but I sat there for a while and watched them. It was kind of interesting. 
So, I have nothing else that I'm planning on doing today. Um, my goal is to get this working. I, I, I come up with a solution. Um, one of my update talks I explain. I, I, I should go through the whole thing now. Um, one of my update talks I was explaining a new problem with the monster. So I went out for an evening drive and or night actually and I noticed my headlights weren't as bright as they normally are. So I'm not sure how long it's been since I talked about that, so I'll explain it now. So when I turn my headlights on, the only thing that's coming on are the actual... Okay, it didn't look like that one was on. The actual headlights themselves. These orange lights are not coming on. The tiller lights are not coming on. If I put the four ways on, they work. It's just the white ones that are not working, and they're, they provide most of the light. So I knew something was wrong when I got home. That's when I discovered, oh, that's not good. So I got thinking. The uh, oh yeah, when I put my my orange lights on, everything's supposed to be on except for the headlights. So these are supposed to be on. These are supposed to be on. <laughs> They're not on. So <clears throat> there's a problem somewhere. So I'm thinking. Because my four ways are working, the only thing I've tapped into up here are these four ways. Because I, I put these on and I had to tap into those to power these. So that has nothing to do with the white lights. They should not be a problem. It doesn't explain the orange lights down there. So I got thinking, when the headlights are on, orange lights are on down there and these lights are on. I have those corroded plugs in the bottom. And I thought they I thought they were for the headlights. They might actually be for the orange lights. And because these lights and the orange lights never flash, the headlights come on separately. And the four ways are separate. It's possible that these white lights and these orange lights are on the same circuit. So if those plugs down there are toast. Is it possible it's one big loop? Because instead of these being wired separately and those being wired, I'm wondering if these are both together on the same same wiring. Because the lights for these come from underneath and, and should go straight up into here. And there, there's no weather issue with that. Everything inside, there's no corrosion, everything is dry. So I'm just wondering if they're on the same loop as those down there. If that's the case, then if I, I fix those plugs, that should fix the problem, right? That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm hoping. So, I think that's going to be my goal today. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my basket up. I'm going to open this up. And I'm going to secure that the relay for my front headlight. Because I'm pretty sure that's what's rattling up top. Because it's up top here somewhere. And that's the only thing that really moves in there. So I have a zip tie around the bar, and it's just kind of hooked onto that zip tie, so it's free to move around. It, it wasn't a problem before, but it's starting to be now. So I'm hoping that's what's rattling, because I can't see anything else up there that's moving around. So it's kind of an annoying rattle. <laughs> <coughs> it's time to fix that. So I'm going to open this up and take a look, and kind of go from there. Hey, it took me a bit to find the. <laughs> my hex wrenches, so I turned the camera off while I searched. Oh, I gotta take my shirt off. Humidity is building.
tiny wires on these things. could be the rattle right there. Might have found my rattle. Yeah, maybe. I thought it was a relay for my bumper light, but it's not. Because it's hitting plastic. I bet you that's it. <laughs> I'm going to have to get used to this. Nothing has solved the problem, so it's got to be that wire underneath. Which means i got to take the wheel. <laughs> Pain the ass, but at least it's easy to do. Mm -hmm. Apparently the camera turned. <laughs> so I have no idea what you missed there, but hook the wheel off. And I'm gonna take a look, find out why this is so loose. I'm here, might as well do it right. First thing I noticed is the threads are stripped on the axle here. I may have to get a new hub or a new bracket. That's not good. That might be why I might not be able to tighten it all the way. Eventually, that's going to be a problem. That's not good. I can get it tight. Oh, did I put that washer on backwards? I bet I did. on right
it's so tight, I shouldn't be that tight. Oh, it's tight now. Oh no. <laughs> I have no explanation, guys. I just don't know. I don't get it. I don't get it. Either way, problem seems to be fixed. <laughs>